just want to thank everybody again for tuning in today. Uh, this is uh, my sixth or seventh video on minerals. Can't keep track at the moment. Um, I'm going to move really quick. This is an easy one, but I wanted to go through my nutrition manual first thing and just to see what um, I touched on this in one of the videos before on macronutrients and mit micronutrients. So your macronutrients, uh, most people are familiar with that. It's protein, carbs, and fat. So those are macros. You've got micronutrients as well. And so macro, uh, micronutrients are vitamins, minerals, uh, fatty acids, um, enzymes. Things like that are micronutrients. So when we eat food, we're eating macronutrients to get to the micronutrients. And so um, there's also macro minerals and there's micro minerals. So macro minerals you need more of and micro minerals you need less of, but they're all still essential. Okay. So in my fitness guide, I'm going to read this real quick. It says uh, further, those suffering from malabsorption syndromes, Crohn's, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, celiac disease, cystic fibrosis, and pancreatitis may be deficient in multiple vitamins and minerals. For this reason, individuals should be tested for vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Based on the results of these tests, a vitamin and mineral management strategy should be adopted. Indeed, assessing vitamin status is likely a good strategy for most adults whether suffering from malabsorption or from a poor diet in general. I think we could probably all agree that most of us at some point in time we've had a poor diet. A lot of us still, uh, still have a poor diet. And, um, you know, it's not our fault so much as it is our ignorance. And so I think the more people who wake up to this and the more people who see it, I'm not saying to go out to your, uh, your local organic grocer and just shop organic. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying just be conscious of the processed food that you eat. Take supplements, vitamin supplements, mineral supplements, and make sure that you're getting all the minerals that you need based on um, what you believe. And so that's why I'm doing these videos, because I believe we need more than what the nutrition guides say. I think we need more than what our medical practitioner says. So I'm gonna, the reason I believe that, uh, before I get started real quick, I'll put this on the board. So I've had this on the board before, Genesis 2.7. Genesis 2.7 says that God formed man out of the dust of the ground, and he breathed the breath of life into his nostrils. At that point, you know, at that time, man became a living being. So first, he had the dust of the ground. What's in the dust of the ground? Minerals. That's what's there. So everything that's in the earth belongs in us. That's what I believe. That's why I reference that scripture every time. So I'm going to go over this side of the board. Some 79 minerals have been detected in animal and human tissue. That is blood, liver, muscle, and brain, etc. Thousands of animal studies on pregnant, suckling, weanling, and mature laboratory mice, rats, rabbits, dogs, cats, pigs, Sheep, cattle, chickens, turkeys, ducks, etc. have documented additional support for the essentiality of at least 60 of those 79. They act as mineral cofactors for DNA, RNA, enzyme systems, or vitamin utilization. So we touched on vitamin utilization several times. We're going to go ahead and get started on the mineral of the day, which is boron. Okay, Boron works well in conjunction with calcium for the increased bone density and the prevention, prevention of osteoporosis. So because that's on there, I'm going to go ahead and say nothing I say is intended to treat, prevent, or cure any disease. That's not my intention here. I'm not trying to be a doctor or anything like that not trying to take the place of your nutritionist, I'm bringing information to light that I think most people overlook or most people never see. So let's continue. It assists us in retaining magnesium in the body and it helps in the, in the production of estrogen. So let me fix that real quick. Production of estrogen. 
It also strengthens the body's immune system and acts as an anti-inflammatory. Research indicates that boron causes blood levels of calcium, magnesium, and estrogen to rise in postmenopausal women. So remember I told you at the beginning of these series, I don't know where this research is being done, what it's being done on, and I haven't revealed the website of where I'm getting this information yet, but it is online. Anybody can find it. I'll reveal it at the end of the mineral series. Um, but it says research. So it's not my research. I don't want anybody to get that idea. Okay? Signs of deficiency. Arthritis, brittle bones, carpal tunnel syndrome, degenerative joint disease, hormonal imbalances, loss of libido, memory loss, muscle pain, osteoporosis, receding gums, weak cartilage. Those are deficiency symptoms of boron. So I hope that uh, this information was helpful. Um, I think if you take everything as a whole and you don't single out any vitamin or any mineral, everything is a whole. And so what I believe is that um, there's already recognized in the nutrition and uh, medical industry that we need 16 vitamins and 12 amino, amino acids and two essential fatty acids. They have several minerals in my nutrition guide that they say is essential. Copper, calcium, magnesium, chromium, uh, but they don't have all 60 and all 60 aren't quite recognized by everyone yet. So my goal is to educate people to where you'll see multiple mineral deficiencies. So if you've got multiple minerals that cause the same thing, you can correct it. Start taking one mineral, but you're still going to have the problem because they work together. So that's my, uh, my theory on all of this. Uh, I believe it makes sense. I think anybody um, that looks at it the way I look at it, and they also take a look at Genesis 2-7, will come to the exact same conclusion that I have. So once again, um, went over another mineral today. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a good day. If you guys uh, want to email me or message me, uh, you can do so at hardgorellc at gmail.com. Have a good day.